So there's, there's three main strands to the Sport Development and Coaching Programme. You've got your sports coaching strand that runs right the way through the course. Um, in those sessions, the students tend to learn how to coach um, and use best practice to coach athletes at different levels and different groups of people. You'll actually practice those skills in a real life environment. So we've got the Regional Performance Centre here at Dundee. You come and use this facility and you practice those skills. Um, get tested on those types of skills, how well you can actually action them. Then we've got the sport development strand, which again goes right the way through the programme. With this, you kind of look more at the role of a sport development officer, how you actually promote sport, how you develop new sports into kind of more existing, robust um, programmes. Um, you look at getting particular groups in society that we need to get more physically active into sports environments. And then the final strand we have that goes right the way through the programme looks at working with people because as a coach and as a development officer you're working with all different types of groups of people all the time. So really the social sciences um, strand that runs right the right way through bridges the gap between coaching and development. Coaching and teaching all overlaps, especially the social issues module, that's been really, really great for me to understand maybe why people don't participate in physical activity and understanding how the barriers can be changed. Use sport as a tool for good, um, use it to not just to increase sport and physical activity but use it as a tool for education as well, which gave me a really good grounding. In first and second year where we got to learn a broad range of everything, so we got to do physiology, we got to do biomechanics, psychology, um, and then on top of that we got the coaching and we got the, the social science side as well, so we got such a broad range and it did give you that kind of that understanding and that basic knowledge to kind of decide what avenue of sport you wanted to go down. Well, we've got twofold activities on um, the practical nature of coaching and development. So first off in our classes we try and make them as practical as possible so you're actually learning the skills during class rather than just sitting there being talked at. You're actively practicing those skills and being assessed on them. And then alongside your studies, we have lots of different opportunities to go out into the workplace and actually get proper hands-on experience. Alongside workplaces, we also have internships with local organisations and groups. So you can dedicate a year of your time to an internship if you want, or even a little bit less. We've also got close partnerships with um, UK Coaching and UK Anti-Doping. So you kind of pick up those sorts of additional qualifications and experiences with organisations that you'd be expected to work with after university as well. So I did two placements while I was at Aberty. I did one in third year and one in fourth year. Um, in third year I worked with active schools and um, helped out in a gymnastics facility. And in fourth year I went to a secondary school and helped out in the PE department. Um, so it was really good to get practical experience and. Um, you know, it prepares you sort of better for, for life after university. I contacted a high school and was volunteering in the PE department um, at a high school. So during that time I went from sort of observing PE lessons to by the end of the placement I was taking the whole lesson pretty much under the supervision of the teacher. And for me that gave me great confidence working in that environment um, because after um, finishing here at Aberte I hope I've got a conditional offer for a postgrad in PE teaching. It's been fantastic um, from coming into first year. I'd say I'm a completely different person now to what I was, but the experience I've had along the way, it's been great, um, both academically but socially as well. Um, there's just a whole environment at the university, it's been really, really great.